All right, time to play some Heretic E1M6, the Cathedral. And yeah, let's go. And this time we get to find that first secret level. But let's open up this thing and get these two secrets. For whatever reason, this is counted as a secret as well. But let's start clearing out the bad guys. And this map is a lot more uh, enjoyable than E1M5 was. At least if you ask from me. And we will be certainly back to this room later on, but we need Wings of Wrath to access those items. But we don't have one right now, so just have to wait and keep moving forward. <laughs> and of course I was an idiot and I completely forgot the yellow key, uh, which can be found from this side area. And why don't you take some of this? And to make the process a little bit faster, I'm gonna switch to my Tome of Power. Seems this one run across quickly. And deal with these guys and get the crossbow. What I think is a little bit unfortunate in Heretic is that the Tome of Power, it actually does not, uh, when it is activated, it actually doesn't have impact on your inventory items, which kind of would have been nice if that would have been the case. But it is what it is. Such, well, there, because there are certain items that actually cause damage to your enemies, like the Time Bomb of the Ancients, so I think that would have been like something really nice that it would have been uh, even more powerful, but that's okay. And this is where the normal exit is, but we probably want to, you know, check out if this area has anything, but the normal exit is not something that we go for, because we have the secret exit to seek, and I think, yeah. That's where the shield is, but now we need a torch. Because this room is pretty damn dark, so... And no worries, these uh, pillars will open up once you walk approximately around here, so no worries. Normally we would go over here, but there are actually three secrets inside this room, so one of them is over here, but for safety reasons I think it's better just to stay over here and deal with those undead warriors inside. And that's a map scroll and a convenient way to backtrack to this room, so it's pretty decent. And now we can go across, and guess what, yet another secret can be found from here. And. There we go, yet another secret. Or actually that wasn't a secret, but but still. And here we can find some time bombs of the ancients. And this will take us back to this room, so pretty cool. Uh, that's an area where we will be going on, but that's a lot later, so we don't have to worry about that. And this will take us to the start. And there are actually a lot of backtrack teleporters, and quite frankly, I have to say that even I played this map uh, many times, <laughs> I still have problem remembering all the backtrack teleporters and everything. But there is this little secret, but I think that should be all of them. And this secret had a tome of power in it. So, nothing else. And I think now it's safe to move on. And this room seems a little bit of a, as a little bit of a dead end, but always use the misaligned texture and run across 
Uh, let's switch to Dragon Claw. And I don't know if this is a little bit of a more foreshadowing to the secret level, because um, this area is an obvious graveyard, and the name of the secret level it has something to do with this area, or at least the resemblance of this area. Jesus Christ, I've been using so many arrows here. It's like I'm, I'm just still uh, somewhat surprised that I still even have these ethereal arrows to begin with. And this area actually has multiple secrets. And yet another one over here, and this will take us back to the start. But we can go back as well, so no worries. And there was one secret around here, with a shadow sphere. And guess what, yet another secret over here. There we go, and this will take you back over here. And that's a Tome of Power, but we will probably use that a little bit later on. I think for right now I probably have to switch <laughs> to Dragon Claw. Just amazed that I even had this many arrows to begin with anyway. And guess what? Yet another secret. Let's use that switch and that's how we get the Tome of Power. And a green key can be found from here. So pretty cool. And I think this would be most of it for this area. And since we have the green key and these stairs have built, um, it's time to go over here. And let's deal with this guy. And there's that Wings of Wrath that we need. So we probably want to have it and go over here. And this teleporter will take you inside that very dark room with those raising and lowering columns that the one that I was using torch inside, so we will go over there <clears throat> through that teleporter, but this is the moment that we dig out the Wings of Wrath and start using it. And none of these are secrets, but for the sake of uh, some items and kills, we must investigate. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, that's everything. And now we can go over here. That's a pretty convenient backtracker because <laughs> I actually never came to this area through this room. But I actually just accidentally did that. But, um,. What I had to do was that go that I had to go through here. I mean, if I assuming that I didn't use this item anyway. But anyways, there is the secret exit, and to trigger it, you must uh, walk over here. So, but this will lower one of the switches that can be found from Jesus Christ, because everything looks the same. Jesus Christ, I think it's over here. Yeah. That lowers the real exit that will take you to E1M7, but that's not uh, something that we are concerned about right now, so let's go over here. And guess what? This is the secret. This is where the secret exit is, and right now we need to use a Tome of Power because we got plenty of these disciples. God. Jesus, that was um, that was a little bit more tense than I thought. Well, should have known, because these guys tend to do a lot of damage at close range. But we will probably use some quartz flasks to get 100 HP, and that's how the cathedral is done. E1M6, fairly enjoyable experience. 
compared to E1M5, and also it has a pretty decent music track as well. Uh, I initially didn't really like about this music track an awful lot when I played Heretic for the first time, uh, but it's something that uh, you kind of learn to like over time. And <laughs> if there's one map in Heretic that this uh, song kind of fits perfectly, uh, I think it's one of the most infamous Heretic levels anyway. Uh, that is uh, included in one of the later episodes, but yeah, that level is, um, <laughs> yeah, well, you'll see once we get there, but there's a pretty long gap uh, from this video to that map, so it's a matter of that video when it eventually comes out, but E1M6, pretty nicely connected, certainly a nice amount of action, and not to mention that ton of items and uh, one thing I noticed in particular was that there were uh, a large number of tome of power in this map to be found which was quite interesting but uh, I used only two and I still had like something like two or three tome of, uh, tomes of power at max <laughs> which is kind of weird but nevertheless, quite enjoyable map, and uh, the music track, fairly decent, and it kind of starts out uh, as as this kind of a funeral, uh, kind of sad tone to it, but it gets more triumphant towards the end, so it's a nice little track, and yeah. I think that's everything, and that's the first secret exit of Heretic, and it will take us to E1M9 the graveyard so that's where we will be going and talk about some awesome music this is where it gets even more interesting so next time we're gonna check out the graveyard which is the first secret level of heretic so yeah i think that's all so yeah see you around